Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm the one. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through setting up SSH on the 2950 switch. Now, this will be the same on pretty much any switch that you want to set up SSH on. If you don't know how to console to um, a switch, I have a link in somewhere up here. It's somewhere right there. Um, in the last video, we set up Telnet. So if you need to check that out, check that out too. I hope you all enjoy. Let's get going. Okay, the first thing we want to do in the last video, and actually the last two videos, we set up shortcuts in PuTTY. So we'll open up PuTTY and we'll open this COM session, which is COM3 is the COM port. If you don't know how to do that, watch the video that I have on connecting to the console port on everything you need to do. But I want to keep this video short, so we'll just move forward and click this COM3 session. And we'll go into the switch. And let's see. Okay, now the switch is up. When user exec mode, remember we, we went over this before, and there are configs on this switch. So what I want to do is I want to remove the configs. So we'll go into enable mode. The password is Cisco because we set that before. And we'll, we want to erase these configs. So let's erase startup config. Boom, we erase that. Now, I saw there were VLANs on here, so let me show you these VLANs. Show VLAN brief. And you can see there's a VLAN 50 that's created. So what you have to actually do, even though you erase the startup config, the VLANs are in a separate flash. So if we go separate, if we go show flash, you'll see this VLAN dot that. You actually have to delete that. So if we go, um, let me see, delete VLAN dot And now that removes the VLANs from this device. And if we do a reload, this device will reload and we'll catch back up in a minute. Okay, the, the, the switch is back up um, and we're still connected to that COM port three. And as you can see, it wants to enter that initial configuration mode. We're gonna tell it no, because we're gonna put our own configs on it. Now, again, we start out in user exec mode. Let's go enable, config T. Now, when you're setting up um, SSH, you have to put a host name on your device. So let's go host name SW1. You also have to put an IP domain name. So let's do this. Um, let's call it Ohio State dot local, you know, because I'd always rep my Buckeyes. Ohio State dot local, and that's the domain name that's needed for SSH to work. And so you'll see, once we create this, the actual um, the uh, fully qualified domain name will be SW1 dot Ohio State dot local. Okay, so. And that's how you would connect to the device or the IP address. Now we have the domain name in it. We need to create a username. Um, we'll go Dewan again. We'll do privilege 15. And then we'll do secret. We'll create this Cisco. We'll just keep it, we'll just keep it simple. And now that we have that, we need to go in here and do the crypto key. So crypto key generate uh, say modulus 1024 and that creates the crypto key that you need when you're um, using things like SSH I'm um, trying to think basically anything RSA related so we have that created the next thing we need to do is we need to go into the VTY lines so line VTY 0 through 15 and we need to tell this um, to log in local use the local account one more thing we need to do we need to put an enable secret on here so let's put an enable secret and we'll just make this um, we'll just keep this Cisco also we'll just keep it the same it shouldn't be the same but we'll go ahead and just keep actually let's make it CCNA boom the secret is CCNA now we'll go back into the line VTY 0 through 15 and then we'll tell this to 
log in local, which means use the username of the one to log in. We'll tell this to transport input SSH. That means only transport and accept connection for SSH. And now what we want to do is tell this, go back into configuration mode and tell this to use IP SSH version two. Now, next thing we need to do, let's do a save, copy, run, start. Okay, so what haven't we done yet? We set up, we set up the domain name. Uh, we set up the, the name of the device. We set up the user account. We set the enable secret. We set um, the crypto key. We set um, SSH version two. We told it to log in locally, and we also set up the um, to only accept SSH. Now, in order to connect the device, we need to do an IP address. So let's move forward with that. We'll just go back in configuration mode, and we'll just use VLAN one interface VLAN one, and we'll give it the IP address that it had before, which is 192.168.1.1, 255.255.0.0.0. And we'll do a no shut and now this should automatically be good to go because we already have a port on it so we were to do a show um, let me fix that those console messages that interrupts just go in line con zero and tell it log in synchronous and now those won't interrupt us and we'll do a show IP interface brief one of my favorite commands and as you can see, VLAN 1 is now up up. It's good to go because I have a port, which is the, the laptop that I'm using now, connected in, uh, what is it, F01 on the, on the switch. So what we can actually do, we can actually save this configs. So we'll go copy, run, start. And what I want to do is I want to do a show run. I want to show you all what it looks like in the running configuration. So when we do a show run, you can see here the IP domain name of Ohio State dot local. Um, the SSH timeout is 120. We can change that. You get three retries on the authentication, and it's running SSH version two. And as you can see, it's using. Um, my username is created and there's an able secret. So if we go down here to the, the VTY lines, you'll see that it's telling it to only accept SSH. And I'll demonstrate that now. Alright, so we can disconnect here. This this IP address is 192.168.1. Again, your NIC on your local device needs to be in the same range if you do not have a router. And you do not have routing set up so it needs to be in the same subnet mask so if you go down if you're using Windows 10 just right click your um, network device and go open network and sharing center and change adaptive settings and now my Ethernet 0 comes up and we'll go in here to IP version 4 properties and you can see I already have this um, device configured for 192.168.1.2 and then the subnet mass is a slash 24 meaning there's um zero in the fourth octet there's no there's no ones in the fourth octet and then the default gateway I don't need one because they're in the same subnet they're in the same subnet so that's all configured so if you don't have this configured go ahead and configure that now on your local device and it has to be plugged into the switch all right so what you have to make sure you have is your device plugged into your switch or your ethernet cable plugged into your switch i have it in fo1 and then plugged into your laptop and that's how you that's how we have disconnected so they're all in the same subnet as we don't have zero routing for one this is the layer two switch just so you guys know what's going on i didn't want to you know, have you confused on this setup? So we're open putty. In the previous video, we saved the session for SW1, which is the Telnet session. So if we load that up. 
This will verify that your transport input session is set up correctly. We should not be able to connect. It should refuse the connection if we try to connect the telnet. So right here, we'll click open. And we're trying to connect to telnet. And as you can see, the network error is connection refused, meaning that it only accepts SSH or is only accepts console or whatever you have it set up for. So we'll close that out. We open putty. We'll load up this SW1. And before we click connect, we'll change this to SSH. We'll go underscore SSH. And then we'll click save. And now we have the SSH session saved with all our um, with all our graphical configurations. So we'll we'll click that and we'll click open. And you want to say yes to this. This is that um, RSA key that we were talking about that we had to create to generate that. And we'll click yes, yes. And now we want to log in as Dewan. And you see the IP address Dewan at the IP address of this device is Cisco. Boom. And we're in the privilege exec mode because I did privilege level 15. That's pretty much it. I mean, that's how you connect to or SSH, set up SSH from a switch, even on a router. I'm going to go through a router series also. If I missed anything, please hit the description if you guys got questions. Hit me up. Let me know um, how you all felt about this tutorial. I really enjoyed doing this and I appreciate each and every one of you. So, Again, if you guys got any questions, hit me up. So we'll exit that. And I believe that's it. Yeah. I believe that's it. Um, we're good to go. We did we did the console. Check the video for the console. Um, console in the tier switch. We set up Telnet. And now we did SSH. So you guys should be rocking and rolling, connecting to your switches, configuring them, doing whatever you need to do. I hope you all enjoy. Hope you found this informative. Hit me up. Peace.